Welcome back. Okay. So what we have done so far is we have created car class and the car class does have um, string variable, string color, and in price in USD. We declared the variable, but we didn't define it because we want to define it through a constructor. Now, what is constructor? Constructor is a method created from class car. And the name of the constructor must be same as the class, okay? And we have the variables here in the class scope. And we have the same variables that are called parameters when we use inside the constructor, okay? How we will differentiate or can distinguish or can differentiate which variable is which one. Name and name, color and color, price in USD equal to price in USD. In Java, we have this keyword to make difference so that we can distinguish between this name and this name this color and this color, price in USD and this price in USD. So when we say this name, it's indicating this name at the class level. So this keyword is representing the class, okay? It's defining this variable that this is from the class level, okay? Now, when we create object, now inside the object, we can define the variables for these parameters, okay? Name, color, price. Name, color, price. Name, color, price, okay? And now, what is the difference between this regular method the user defined method and the constructor. This user defined method are block of codes that only execute when they are called by name. You have to call by name. You see, run. We have to call by name. Stop. We have to call by name. But constructor also method, but these are special kind of method. And this method is invoked, called, when object is created. Whenever you create the object, this constructor method is called automatically. You, you don't need to call car right here. You don't need to say, C2 equal to car. Did you do it? No, no, you didn't do it. We don't need to do it. It is automatically called when object is created. Is it clear? Clear? Yes or no? 
Can you hear me? I think you are you are muted. Uh, it, uh, it automatically it was muted. I don't know why. Okay. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when the project is very small, you can use the object. I mean, uh, you can you um, can you can say you can uh, declare the variable and define the variable here without hmm. using constructor. Okay. We can call that. But, yes. But when your project is bigger yeah. in sizes, then you must use constructor. Yeah. But remember, when even you don't create constructor, actually Java by default comes with constructor. Okay, that we cannot see. Behind the scene, there is constructor, even if we don't create constructor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Clear. Mm. What does it mean? Hmm. Clear. <laughs> Clear? Yes. Okay. Now, in the interview, some interview are very they really love to ask questions from Java, okay? They will start with variable, then method, then class, object, et cetera, et cetera. Now, tell me, does class take space in the memory of your computer? No. No. Only object. Only when you create object? It takes memory. It takes spaces in the memory of your computer, right? Yeah. Okay. What is logical entity and physical entity okay is class physical entity mm. you are confused Confused, yeah. Okay, confused. I know, okay. No problem. Remember, this class is only logical. Mm. It has logic. Let me draw a picture. Maybe it will clarify. Look, try to understand it. Okay. What are these? These are blueprint, okay? Mm. These are blueprints. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I say This blueprint has two 
character. States any object, even any class, does have two characteristics. One is state, another one is behavior. Mm. What are states properties? This blueprint has also, say for example, it can have, what do you think, what we can create from it? What object we can create from it? What do you think, what we can create? Mm. No, I don't know. No idea? Okay. No problem. It has color and it has price also. Okay. And it has four wheels. Okay. And mm. it has behavior, meaning it can start. So it is method, right? Mm. It can stop. So it is method. It yeah. can run. So it Myself. is a method. Okay. And now look. Um creating objects. So this is class. Mm. It has only logic. These are logic only. Logic. Logics. Okay. And these are class, just blueprints. Mm. You can just design the blueprints on a paper and you can fold it and you can keep it anywhere. You can keep on your pocket, you can keep on your hand, you can keep on your money bag, you can keep inside a book. Mm. Actually taking so little space that mm. is not mentionable. You can keep it anywhere. Mm. But look, now I'm going to create object. Object from this class. From this class, we are going to create object. Okay. Mm. So, for example, the color is blue. I'm taking this blueprints. Okay. Mm. Still, you don't know what I am doing, right? Yeah. Okay. Drawing a car or what? <laughs> I'm going to create object from blueprint. Oh. I'm drawing a car, okay. Okay. Is a physical? Yes. Okay. Physical entities are and logical yes. was the blueprint. No. This is blueprints. You can keep it anywhere. But mm. when it becomes object, when you create a car. 
Can you keep it on your pocket now? Mm -hmm. You cannot. <clears throat> to keep this car, you need a garage. <coughs> yeah. You need specific place because it has all logics here. So it has logical plus it has physical when created object is end mm. product. It has now also physical physical entity. So plus is just logical entity. Okay, logic only. Mm. All this logic. All this logic <clears throat> but object does have also physical entity <clears throat> so you need a specific place now to keep. keep it you need a garage right mm. so what is logical and physical entity you can say class is just a blueprint and it has logic. So Logical. for example, it has properties, it has methods. Methods. Yet it's, all about the logic. it's not taking <clears throat> enough Any spaces space. because these are logic, these are blueprints. Mm. Just dropped design. But when we are using this logic to create end product object. See it? It does have logic inside it as well as the object is the end product and it does have physical entity. It takes a lot of space on computer. In real world, car takes a lot of space. You need separate garage for it, right? Mm -hmm. The same way <clears throat> programming language also when we are creating class, multiple class properties, methods, still they are not taking spaces on computer memory, memory of the computer. But whenever we are creating object from class, Object are taking a lot of space on computer device, mm -hmm. on computer memory. Because it is physical and it is, yeah. So, if you don't create object, all mm -hmm. these blueprints of the class, okay, doesn't take space on computer memory. Mm. Whenever you create an object, object from class okay. or blueprints, it takes a lot of memory. Mm. Here? Yeah. Now, let us Create another class and name of this class is you have another car. What is the name of your another car? Nissan. Nissan. Okay. Quest. Nissan. Okay. I'm taking public static void main, just check in. And now look, Nissan is another car, right? Yeah. But this Nissan, Nissan, Nissan class doesn't have any properties. Say for example, it has maybe Call made. Made make, yeah. Integer. Make 
2017. And you don't have anything. Maybe you have method. Run. We have already run method day. Okay. Honk. You can honk. Okay. Now, I just want to create object for Nissan. Hmm. Nissan, new, <clears throat> sorry. No, Nissan N. Nissan, yeah, one. New. new. Nissan. Nissan. All right now if you want to access method from car say for example m1 i want to access name can I access it, name? No. No. But I can use make here. Make okay. here. I can use honk. Honk. Oh. I can say N1. Honk. Because I have honk method. I have two only here. Yeah. Method one uh, within the class scope, yeah. and I can use make here. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. But if I want to use all these properties, mm. okay, all these properties. Yeah. We need to extend. I have to extend. I have to use extend keyword. Extend keyword, yeah. Extends car. Car. Okay. Mission extends car. Yeah. What's wrong? What it's saying? Uh, Implicit super constructor car is undefined for default constructor must define an explicit constructor. So you have to also define constructor for it. So you have to say public. Okay. Mm. Now, what is it complaining? Implicit super constructor car is undefined. So I have to say super. Car is undefined. It's saying implicit super constructor car is undefined. Super constructor is car. Okay. Mm. 
So inside the car, we have this car constructor. And it's saying it is undefined. OK, just a minute. We are using super and we have to use all the properties we are using is string is name. Another one is what? I forgot. Color. So color. And integer is price. Uh, price in UST. Mm -hmm. We just we copy everything. Yeah. And put name, color, and price. So we have to mention inside super that is coming from car, OK? Mm. From super class, meaning we are inheriting okay and mm. we are also inside the constructor we are telling that it is string name string color integer price in usd okay yeah. now you can say nishan has a name mm. Maybe Nishan two zero two zero, say for example. Mm. Then you have also color is red or black. And price is how much? It does twenty five thousand. Forty five thousand. Okay. Now you have also make here. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to put make here, actually, you can directly. Uh, let us check whether it is working fine. Yeah. Car can honk in 2017. All right. Now, actually, you can use all this. You can access. Access here. For yeah. example, you can now say uh, 
Okay, you can see. Name, you see? Now, mm. it doesn't have name, right? Yeah. It doesn't have property name, but no. you can access to the other access class. Access to all properties that car class does have. Yeah. Because you're extending. Extending. Yeah. And also telling here, all these are coming from car class, super class. Super class, yeah. Okay. And now you can say name, oh, color. Price in USD, and also you have make here. Okay, fantastic. Yes, they are working. Mm. All right. Yeah. Any question? No, it's fine. Okay. But you have to practice. Practice, yeah. Even when I don't practice a week, yeah. I forget. Again, I, I have to go back. Yeah. But it is always good practice to go to Google or YouTube and find it out. If you forget, everything is there. Mm. Okay. Just do little research. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is our job to solve the problem. Um, you yeah. Face any challenges, face it. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you find any problem, um, without a solution, find the solution. Because with the software engineers, software developers, software development engineer in tests. We are there in the company to solve the problem of the company. That is why we are being paid. Okay. Mm. They're being paid double than other people who just completed bachelor degree and master degree. Even after completing master degree in computer science, they are making 40, 50,000. <laughs> but just attending three to six months boot camp, mm. people are making double than them. Uh. Because we definitely are uh, do practical job mm -hmm. and we able to solve the problem mm -hmm. after completing honors and masters in computer science they have to also go through all these boot camps if mm -hmm. they want to become a real problem solver mm -hmm. Many students remain jobless after master degree in I computer see. science. Uh, then they go, go the back boot to boot camps, completing mm. web development, software development, software engineering boot camp. Then mm. they make double. Uh. All right. That's all for today. Okay. See you in the next. Now, whatever you. you practice, okay, try mm -hmm. to explain yourself, okay? Myself, yeah. Yes. Oh, Whenever you're coding, just try to explain yourself. Think how to practice, explain. how you will explain it, yeah. how you can 
make other people understand mm. the concept. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's very important. Mm -hmm. Many people can quote, mm -hmm. but can't explain. Many of them can't find job because they 